You're watching Tap Out T. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I wanted to thank you guys for not unsubscribing because it's been a while since I've been posting videos. Basically, I hurt my shoulder, and I haven't been rolling for a while. And I also had to travel for work, so I went to a few different countries. <laughs> the summer and um, this video is not really a grappling video this is a video of me training at a boxing gym in Turkey and uh, you know I'll have more grappling videos for you soon but I'll be wearing a brace in them so you know I'm slowly getting back into the hang of things unfortunately uh, I sort of have this mental thing going on where I'm not grappling the way that I used to just because maybe in my mind I'm afraid of getting hurt I don't know but I'm not as intense, and I'm more passive, and uh, I've sort of regressed in some of my grappling skills. So, I that and just not being able to go as much, and I'm just with work, I haven't been posting that much, but I plan on posting uh, more often. So, for those of you who stuck around, I really do appreciate that. It's just been a nightmare just trying to get organized, but, you know, now I'm getting organized. Sometimes real life happens and you gotta put your hobbies aside and unfortunately this is what this is for me. It's a hobby and I just really appreciate you guys for, you know, sticking uh, through this with me. But this gym I went to, it's called Urban Boxing in Turkey. I kind of got really homesick and bored when I was overseas. Basically I was gone from the US for three months. If any of you guys don't know, I am an American. I live in the US and I spent three months in two different countries. I was going to go to three different countries, but I ended up making some good friends in one of those places. And then I ended up going to Turkey and it was a great experience. You know, it was so much fun, but boxing and martial arts really do bring a normal sleep to your life. I found myself just getting really bored when I was traveling in the sense that all I did was really work. And then like I had, the night to do stuff and I was tired so what I ended up doing was I worked something out with work to you know go to a boxing gym like midday and then I went and did that and then I came back and it, it made my traveling life better so yeah anyway let's get started so in this video I'm training with a boxer named Halim Indonese out of uh, urban boxing in uh, Turkey and this is one of the first days I trained with her but uh, basically I'm hitting the bag and I'm doing my hooks and as you can see the hooks are just not correct so what I'm gonna be doing is uh, working on them while I'm back in the US but as you can see here I'm doing rolls and I'm doing the hooks while I was working with her she corrected a lot of the form that I was doing so as you can see here like there are things that you don't see that are right, just write in the comments and then I'll work on them too. Roll. Move. So as you can hear from her, she's not happy with me just standing in one place and punching. I'm not supposed to do that, but I was doing it anyway and I was tired. So you're going to hear her yell at me a lot in uh, these <laughs> videos. One thing that helps me fall asleep at night is at least I'm getting decent power on the bags when I have energy. So again, gotta work on my stamina, but you know, ya poop sick, so I'll fix that soon. So I haven't trained in uh, three months at this point, so in this uh, drill I'm basically working on a jab cross, a jab to the body, and then a jab to the face again. So yeah, I'm really sweaty. Turn, move. Again, she's yelling at me because I'm not moving enough and 
as someone that's boxes along I have, I should do that, but again, ya yeah, poopsick, so I'll fix that. If you guys don't know what poopsick means, go ask your uh, Russian friend when you have a chance. So you see how my swords changed? That means that this is another day of boxing. And basically, I was dropping my hands a lot, so this is actually a great drill, but I am supposed to hold that one glove with my armpit, and that's exactly what I'm doing. And I was also having trouble pivoting. I was not uh, turning enough with the thing, so when I was doing my crosses, so she's having me work on that right now. Now I'm working on my uppercuts, and uh, again, because I dropped my hands a lot, what we're doing here is we're working on the punches and making sure that I don't mess up by dropping my hand that much. If I drop my hand, I drop that glove, and that's how you know I failed. Now check out my shorts. This is another day. And, uh, you know, I actually wasn't feeling well because for some reason I was getting pimples. If you just look right there, I pimples all over my arm. But, I don't know, I was having some sort of allergic reaction. Basically, I'm actually doing pretty decently here. But then again, there's a lot of stuff you didn't see off camera. Like, we were working on combinations a lot, so, yeah. So I told Helime I wanted to just try my hand at sparring and, uh, you know, sparring someone that was really good and stuff and uh, she put me up with him. And yeah, they're, he's going so light, it's just more of an educational thing, but I don't know, I want to get over my fear of getting hit, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. But as you can see here, I'm eating jabs and I'm trying to like move out of the way for things, but I'm still getting hit, like, I don't know. I, I, there's a lot of work that I need to do, but as you can see there, like, I'm flat-footed. There's so many things. He's just tapping me. And, like, uh, you know, we have a conversation about this like, right after. He's like, you don't want to be eating jabs, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, at least I'm trying. Look, his hands are down. Like, that's how little of a threat I am to him right now. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all part of getting better, so... No, I'm not sure why I did that with my hand, but yeah. Now he goes low, and he's just using his hands. Like, you know, I'm a little bit better now because I've been sparring this guy named Evan at my gym, or we could call him John Lynn because he doesn't like being called Evan. But uh, yeah, so I might be a little bit better, but yeah, he's uh, he's being nice to me, so. Man, that was a pretty bad flinch right there. So yeah, that's the end of the video, and I know, cut it short abruptly, but there's not really much more content that, I mean, I see of value, like, this isn't a travel vlog, so I'm not going to be posting all the weird stuff that I did overseas, even though it was fun, maybe I should post something like that eventually, but not right now. Now, my goal over there to uh, Irving Boxing was to, you know, basically just get back into uh, martial arts, because I had been taking a four-month hiatus from it. And, uh, honestly, it was just a great experience. The entire time I was there, I felt safe. It was fun. I mean, Halima is a great trainer, so go train with her. And, uh, there's just a lot of stuff that I liked about that place. One thing that I wasn't expecting was how rusty my fundamentals were. Because it, it had been more than, like, six months since I boxed or something. I don't even remember. But 
basically a lot of the things that I was doing, like I wasn't pivoting all the way and then you know, extending my arm out. Uh, it's hard to show you while I'm in my seat. There was also um, just certain things that I wasn't doing. Like I wasn't standing on my toes and like moving around as much. And now I do that more. And you'll see that in some of the videos that I'm going to come out with next. Uh, I've been sparring this guy named John Lin. And uh, he's been pretty instrumental in getting me a bit better. And uh, yeah, one thing that I do a lot is I flinch. And basically here at Urban Boxing, I think I got over a lot of those flinching issues. And I really have to thank Max, the owner of the gym, uh, Halime, and I forget the guy's name. So if he watches this, I'm so sorry. I only met you one time before we sparred. But uh, just write your name down below and I'll, I won't edit this video again, but you know, I'll, I'll pin who you are uh, on the comments. But it was just a great experience, and I want to thank the people there for just making me feel at home because I was going through some stuff while I was traveling, and it, this was just – it just helped me get back into the right mindset and just crush things at work. Like jujitsu, boxing, martial arts just really helps you. It's like a natural antidepressant for me at least, and I think everybody should do it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, if you guys like my video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, you know. I won't uh, ever, you know, put your comments on blast or anything. I might have done that, like, one time when I was, you know, less experienced with this YouTube stuff. But I'm much more calm since of jujitsu, And uh, because of jujitsu, I should say, yeah, not since of. Because of jujitsu and because of uh, boxing. So, you know, things are just going good. So, yeah, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, share your videos. Please like, subscribe, and... Do what you gotta do, but yeah. Again, thanks for watching, you guys have a great rest of the night.